we're in crypto summer. We just started crypto summer. Crypto summer is up only. Yes, you get the 30% pullbacks that happen in your face in minutes, um, but cri that's crypto summer. We're all debating whether we get a left translated cycle or or a or a bubble cycle that goes on further than we imagine. We, none of us know that yet, but you know we're at the sweet spot. Global liquidity is picking up, should continue going forwards. Business cycle should pick up. So this is the time. This is the great time. And this is the time when ETH outperforms Bitcoin, Solana outperforms ETH. A bunch of alts will outperform Solana. So, you know, it's obviously, it's, it is the great opportunity. It's the kind of, the big trade is now on. Raul Pal, the founder and CEO of Real Vision, believes that after the most recent crypto market correction, crypto summer is now officially on. He's extremely bullish on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and especially Solana for the back half of 2024 and heading into 2025. According to Pal, this bull market will easily be the biggest crypto bull run of all time. Raul believes that this bull market will be a very unique one for crypto because it is both crypto and macro summer with a confluence of various bullish factors. Raul believes we'll see Bitcoin rise as high as $200,000 over the course of the bull run. However, on the backs of an Ethereum ETF and potential Solana ETF, he believes Ethereum and Solana will outperform that. In this video, Pal breaks down his simple strategy for trading both top cryptocurrencies and meme coins to make the most gains during the bull market. Pal's thesis for a strong crypto bull market is also based on his expectations for more quantitative easing measures, or more cowbell, as he refers to it. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video, where we'll break down some on-chain Bitcoin data which points to the crypto markets recovering faster than most expect. Also guys, only a small percentage of our viewers are actually subscribed to the channel. If you enjoy finance or investing content, consider subscribing or liking the video. It's free and you can always change your mind later. But for now, let's jump in with Raul Pal. All financial markets work the same way. You put capital in mm -hmm. and it's coming into Bitcoin. It then flows into the, least, the less liquid assets and they rise more, right? It's just all markets work the same way. So it comes into Bitcoin, it pushes up the other assets. So the next phase is obviously the ETH ETF. ETH is really an interesting dynamic because the more ETH you buy, the less the, the more the supply is reduced with about 28% locked up in, in bloody staking. I mean, there's, it's gonna get quite a disruled, disruly market. It's just going to be it's very, going to be very price gappy to the upside and probably the downside. So that's going to get fun. Solana has been like the main adoption horse because it's going up the adoption curve, so it tends to outperform. So I just think you just have that perfect risk curve where Bitcoin starts the cycle well, ETH then starts to outperform. If you look at the ETH Bitcoin chart, it's basing. It looks like it should start to break higher over time. Um, and that, that's pretty much what happened. When was it? Um, about September, 2020. No, it was, it was like summer 2020. We saw the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, um, so we should see that continue. And then Solana, if I look at the Solana ETH chart, it's about to break higher again. It's like this perfect little flag pattern should keep going. So it, it looks as is, and as I've kind of thought all the way through, I think nothing changes. So I think, it, um, Solana is ETH of the last cycle, right? This is a proper blockchain that's getting full adoption. So this is a real thing. Firedance is the kicker. Um, so we've got some real stuff happening here. So in terms of price targets, I mean, who the hell knows? But if we kind of replicate what ETH did last cycle, that was a 45x from the low. Um, so you get somewhere like about $500,000. Uh, $500. If I look at the other charts, I get somewhere between 500 and 1,000. Yeah. Um, and it just depends on the structure of this market. If we get a bubble cycle, it'll go to 1,000. If we get some sort of left translated, it gets to 500. It's, a, it's something like that. You know, as, as we all know here, you know, price targets are, are, are pretty useless, but because you need to see the structure and nature of the market when it happens. So it's all well and good us having an idea now, but we'll feel it and know it when it's happening. So here, here's my odds. My odds is 60% this is kind of a normal cycle. I would say the last cycle we had wasn't. It was stunted. The last leg was stunted. 
We should have had another leg higher. We didn't get it. 2017 was was probably more of a normal crypto cycle. It's like 2013. They get quite blow offy top at the end. There's a full bubble cycle that could be kind of la la land, which I would give 20%. I give 60% to a normal cycle and 20% to a left translated cycle. That's kind of where my odds are right now. We have not seen on the media side the rush. It's yeah. not happened yet. It's the same people still. Yeah, I can see my Twitter numbers growing again because mm. they were flatlined for a long yeah. time, but they're still not growing fast. I mean, I hit a million, I don't know, four months ago, and I'm I'm at like 1 million and 20,000. So we're not seeing a massive influx. So y you're right. I mean, look, there's some anecdotal evidence, yes, um, but we're not really seeing a mass participation. And, you know, but it, it is early. It's early in the cycle. We forget because, look, we were all quite lucky in getting this cycle quite right. So we feel like we've been in it all the way through. But don't forget last cycle, most of us were buying now. Or yeah. later. Or we later. Hate, we yeah, for us, it was later. May and June last cycle. was later. I got in the same time as you guys, right? Like it was later. Like but Obviously was later. the price is further this time. So it's yeah. different. So. I don't know, and let's just keep an open mind. I think, I think Michael's view is, is, is also right. I, I just don't think we know, so we just have to keep a very open mind, which is why I'm trying to use a probabilistic framework and just keep adjusting as we go. I'm so careful in what I say these days. I would have a very different conversation with you guys off camera than on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because I'm so cautious because people are. Yeah, the internet is a pretty awful place. Yes. Um, and so, yeah, we've all been through it, right? And so I think Benny's right, you know. Actually, what we say is much more cautious. And we do have PTSD, not more for, not so much from markets, PTSD from bloody Twitter. Yes, sir. But you know what, Raul? Like, I, man, I always get called a bulltard and like I'm a purple. I was bullish at the lows and bullish at the highs, but like, Again, like we haven't seen shit yet. Like ETH is not even thousand dollars. Like you've been right to be bullish because the market over time goes bottom left to top right. Mm. You know, in over the time horizon. Depends what time horizon people are using, which is the other big problem. Everyone screws that up. My setup is I'm really ninety five percent non, um, you know, just in my core positions, and then five percent of silly stuff, which I've got. Some stuff that's too small that I won't talk about. And then I've got Whiff and I've got, and I've got Doge. You know, so I've got the dogs, you know, because mm. the dogs run first. You know, this is the perfect point for the dog cycle. So you do a bit of that for the fun of it. Uh, but I, you know, I'm not very good at this part of it because you always end up and look back and you're too late into a cycle. You look back, you've got this shrapnel of useless shit. I mean, if I look back at my wallet last time around, the, the decentralized and sandbox and all of this stuff you get stuck with from narratives that you overstayed in you know that's the issue is not overstaying in this stuff this is the hard part people don't realize the hard part is actually the last part of the cycle it's the hardest part it's not buying the cycle it's not running the cycle it's the end because if it finishes early you kind of get caught holding the bag if it finishes normally and you've got PTSD, you end up selling a bit too early. That's not the worst thing. If it has a super cycle, I mean, I remember selling Bitcoin in 2017 at like two and a half thousand and thinking I was great. Went to 20,000, kind of 10x in the next five months. So and that's, that's what really about. difficult to do with. So last time I didn't sell at all, and this time around, and I've been thinking this is, I will just take some off for lifestyle chips probably at the end of this year, just in time right. and not price. I like just that. Because there's some lifestyle chips I want to take off, and then I'll run it, and if it ends up being a bubble cycle, I'll take some more off. If it's a normal cycle, I'll just run it. Um, and yeah, the other thing, the other capacity I've got is, uh, and Benny's aware of this, I've been talking to him about this, is like, I now start to think that the top of the entire investment pyramid is the super high-end arts NFTs of the OGs, and that's where you put savings into. So you you just keep peeling off savings, putting them into that. 
so my wildest prediction is basically, I, you know, look, it's just don't fuck this up. I mean, I keep saying it. It's so simple. It's just don't do anything. Look, this show is all great fun and we all talk about stuff. Pretty much everybody here is actually only trading, messing around with their smaller part of their position. Really, we're actually just holding our core positions where we have beliefs. And that is really the key thing. And, you know, yes, you know, Rollbit's a sponsor. Yes, people use leverage. Yes, everybody here is ex-financial markets, <laughs> right? Everybody knows how to use leverage. I don't use leverage. But, you know, again, you can do it on the small bag. You can learn the game. But just, this is the biggest, crypto has been and remains the biggest macro opportunity we have ever been given. It's the best performing asset of all time in the fastest period of time. This is the big one. This is the one where you don't get a chance to bitch. We didn't get a chance. They got rich. Every single person on earth can put 10% of their weekly paycheck into this. So we're all on a level playing field. So the key thing is not lose control of your tokens. So that's, that's really it. And you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just don't get too greedy. You'll be fine over time. So there's Raul Powell who believes this bull run is going to be an everything everywhere all at once scenario with multiple aspects of the industry developing simultaneously with the approval and success of the spot Bitcoin ETFs and Ethereum and potentially Solana ETFs on the way, Pal is certain tens of billions of dollars will continue to be pumped into the industry by wealthy traditional finance players looking to diversify some of their assets from the less certain fiat land to the crypto world. This will, of course, have instantaneous effects on prices as we go deeper into the bull market. Looking towards some on-chain Bitcoin data, we can see that many of the short-term catalysts that are keeping crypto prices suppressed are coming to an end. One such catalyst being the German government, who over June have sold off billions of dollars of their Bitcoin holdings. The good news? By looking at on-chain data, we can see that the German government is now officially out of Bitcoin putting an end to the selling pressure. This could be the catalyst to kick off the parabolic crypto bull run Raul is predicting. If you want to stay most up to date on the Bitcoin and crypto world, be sure to subscribe to my daily five minute crypto newsletter, The Crypto Nutshell. It's a free five minute newsletter that gives you the latest news, expert predictions and on-chain data that will ensure you are a better crypto investor. We break down on-chain data every single day in easy to understand writing such as the German government running out of Bitcoin to sell. To sign up, it's completely free. Hit the first link in the description, type in your email, and you'll start receiving our daily news in your inbox. Let me know what your thoughts are on Raul's outlook. What's your allocation for your main portfolio and your Dijon bags? Is it 95 to five like pals? Or are you willing to take bigger risks? Please drop your comments in the comment section below if you are yet to do so. Also, ensure you like this video subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.